Uh, so welcome to this mini tutorial on calculating standard deviation. Uh, so what is standard de deviation? The best way to explain this is to use a real life example of a student who goes to a beach. Uh, they go to the north end of the beach and collect 15 pebbles and they go to the south end of the beach and also collect 15 pebbles and they measure the A axis of each one. They put their data into a table, north end and south end of the beach and they want to see how dispersed that data is so they would use standard deviation. So why use standard deviation? What is it used for exactly? Um, the best way to show this is to plot the data first. Now the best way to plot your data is on a dispersion graph where you on, have on the y-axis the pebble size, your a-axis, on the x-axis the north end of the beach and the south end. Um, you then add your y-axis uh, uh, numbers from 0 up to probably about 81 I think was the highest one and now you're ready to plot. So let's start with plotting the north end first. Uh, the first piece of data was 58 millimetres and then 43 and 38 and so on. Continue plotting the data until you've plotted all of the data for the north end of the beach. And you can see on the dispersion graph where you have three pieces of data which are the same value, in this case 19, you plot them horizontally. You would then proceed to plot the south end of the beach data uh, above the x-axis here. And again, where you have three pieces of data the same, you plot them horizontally, in this case 67. Now let's plot the mean for the north end, which is 26.3 millimetres, and the mean for the south end, which is 50.8. Now standard deviation is a statistical method to objectively work out how spread out the data is from the mean. So looking at the north end of the beach, you can see the minimum and the maximum. You can see where the mean is, how spread out is that. And we can also have a look at the south end of the beach, the mean there, which is higher, the maximum and the minimum here. How spread out is that? Is one more dispersed than the other. Standard deviation will help us to objectively see this. So here is the formula for standard deviation which we will use to calculate for the north end and then the south end. So we start by using a table with three columns. In the first column the pebble size for the north end of the beach uh, in rank order from 58 maximum to 11 minimum. Uh, we add it up at the bottom, 394, and we call this column x. The next column is x minus the mean, which we need to calculate. So x, which is 58, minus the mean, which we've calculated at 26.3, comes to 31.7 and we will proceed to calculate it for each of the x values here. Here is the completed column for x minus the mean for all of the values from 58 down to 11. Uh, don't worry if you have a minus figure, that's perfectly normal. In the third column here we have x minus the mean and we need to square that to get rid of any negative values. So 31.7 times itself gives you 1004.89 and you would proceed to do this for each of the values. Here you can see that each of the values has been calculated for x minus the mean squared. And now you would need to add up that column. So once you've added up that column, you come to 2270.95. And this is what you need to calculate standard deviation. So now let's substitute our data into our formula to calculate standard deviation. So standard deviation equals, 
and we are now going to substitute our numbers in. Our sum of x minus the mean squared is 2, 2, 7, 0, 0.95 and we divide that by n which in this case is 15 samples and if we do that division and then we square root it we will come to 12.30 and that's for the north end of the beach. Now the south end of the beach is bigger. Uh, it calculates as 22.88. So the standard deviation is much greater at the south end than the north end. But what does that mean? Well, in effect, it means that the pebble sizes in the south end of the beach have a greater dispersion around the mean. And the north end of the beach, the pebble sizes are much closer to the mean. The best way to explain the results of standard deviation is to return back to this dispersion graph. Let's look at the north end of the beach where we had a mean of about 26 millimetres for our pebble. Standard deviation for the north end of the beach is 12.3 and that means that 68% of all of our data here in the north end lies within 12.3 of the mean. So if we add 12.3 onto 26 we get to roughly 38 here. If we take away 12.3 from the mean we get to roughly 14. And that means that 68% of all of our data for the north end lies within 12.3 of our mean. And you can see actually the data is quite clustered together. It's close to the mean. Now the south end of the beach is much greater, 22.8. Again I've noted, noted where the mean is. It was 50, much larger. Standard deviation, if we add it onto 50, we get to about 72 which is here. Uh, if we take away standard deviation from the mean we get to about 28 uh, which is um, here. So you can see there's a much larger oblong I'm drawing here now. 68% um, again, it's always 68, 68% of all data lies within 22.8 of the mean and you can see Physically, the dispersion is much greater there than it is here. And that's how standard deviation works. Now, for the geographers amongst you, what does this mean? Well, quite simply, if we look at the north end of the beach, there is a smaller variation in beach material. And the beach material you'd find there, the pebbles, the shingle, they're much smaller and this has probably been moved by longshore drift to the north end of the beach. Whereas in the south end of the beach you've got a much greater dispersion, much greater variation in beach material from very small pieces of um, shingle um, to small boulders. And perhaps this area experiences rockfall. Um, it's got much um, larger pieces of um, pebble, boulder, shingle on the beach and these haven't yet been moved by longshore drift.